my friends how are you today i will tell you how to calibrate a pressure transmitter with the heart communicator you can see this is a heart communicator it's made of applicants now i will show you these are the terminals where we connect the wires and connect it to the pressure transmitter for communication you can see its model its applicants jsc kap03 this is its model it's made of applicants company you can see here its charging pin where you can charge its battery it's a chargeable communicator now i will tell you how to communicate it with the pressure transmitter how to configure its parameters and how to calibrate zero and span this is its power button you can see i have made its power on it's showing searching now it's searching that pressure transmitter and also showing wait so after search it will connect but you know we have not connected its wire so it will keep showing searching and wait now you can see this is the pressure transmitter this is the fuji pressure transmitter fcx model you can see it's showing its name plate power supply turn to 45 its range is 1300 millibar it has two sides h for high side and l for low side in c it has a manifold it has three valves one for h side one for l side and one is the equalizing wall so i side is connected with the suction and low side is connected with the pressure but now the low side is open to the atmosphere and equalizing wall is closed and we are giving suction to the h side now i am opening its cover i will show you its connection you can see red and white cables terminated on power supply terminal plus and minus this is 24 volt in the middle and upper are marked with checkpoint this is negative and positive checkpoint this is supply point and the upper points are check point here we can check the output milliamps so there are three terminals center is common with power supply and center is also common with 4 to 20 milliamps now i have connected hard communicator on the power supply terminals both probes of the hard communicator are connected on power supply terminal as you can see i have connected hard communicator now i will check milliamps on the check point you can see i have connected meter probes on check point it is showing 4.3 milliamps as i have closed the wall and supply pressure supply is 0 millibar but it is showing 4.3 and now i have given the maximum pressure and it is showing 21 it's zero calibration and span calibration both are out i will do it's zero calibration Now I will perform its span calibration for you. 
हार्ड कम्युनिकेटर्स एफ वन एफ टू एफ थ्री एफ फोर एंड पी वी आई हैव शोन यू वाट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ दिस बटन दिस इज पावर बटन आई हैव मेड द पावर ऑन विद दिस पावर बटन इट इज शोइंग सर्चिंग एंड इट इज शोइंग वेट यू कैन सी इट इज शोइंग सर्चिंग डिवाइस एंड ऑल्सो शोइंग वेट बिकॉज नो ट्रांसमीटर इज कनेक्टेड विद दिस कम्युनिकेटर इट इज कीपिंग इन सर्च आफ्टर सन शाइन इट इज शोइंग चेक कनेक्शन बिकॉज देर इज नो ट्रांसमीटर कनेक्टेड सो इट इज शोइंग चेक कनेक्शन नो आई विल कनेक्ट द ट्रांसमीटर and what is connected it is showing press any key found device it's showing its id number of this transmitter now it is showing given any press key i have pressed f1 so it is reading the data reading data of this transmitter showing info left right f is for left f2 is for right F3 is for enter and F4 is for reference or to exit. So the first block is info. And now I have press F4. So again it is connecting and now it is connected. It is showing first block of parameter which is info. Info it is showing. Now I have press pv it is showing the primary variable now it is showing how much pressure it is reading this is the primary variable it is showing minus 94 millibar now it is showing current value it is 19.1 milliamps how much is the percentage of this of the total range it is 94% so with the pv button we can check the running process values that how much the transmitter is reading pressure current etc now in the info it is showing information about the transmitter its tag number its descriptor device id the function code transfer function code it's a linear mx plus b square root point what is the unit upper sensor limit and lower sensor limit of this pressure transmitter showing upper ring and lower ring minimum span damping value so these are the all parameter we can see in the info but we can only read them we cannot change them in this block info we can change it in the pv configuration i will show you later this is the hardware revision this is all the information about the pressure transmitter now again it's on the start point next block is calibration yes next block calibration in calibration when we enter zero calibration then left or right we can see pressure calibration current calibration return to factory default and zero adjustment so these are the four calibration adjustment we can perform in zero calibration just zero calibrate in pressure calibration we will calibrate with the pressure so this is the configuration and configuration pv configuration and in pv configuration this is 
present unit this may leave our when we change it it will be kpa inch of water pascal so we can change its unit with the left or right button f1 or f2 but our standard is millibar so i am using this range it's a lower range value of this pressure transmitter i can configure it now it is zero if i want to change it i will press f1 button it will delete it then i will give the new value from this keyboard 0, 0.00 something which i want to give now it is 0, 0.00 so i will give it lower range value zero after pressing f4 okay this is saved then i can give it upper range value which is minus 100 millibar i can change it if i want transmitter function code i can change linear mx plus b square root this is just a formula through which it is calculating the pv third square root fourth square fifth square we can change it as per requirement but here we are using mx plus b it's a linear function this is present damping value 0.1199 second and again present unit this is was the pv now it is the transmitter configuration in transmitter configuration we can change calling address number of preambles final assembly message tag number descriptor date so these are the parameters we can change in the transmitter configuration right protect it is inactive if this right protect is active then we cannot write the values so we have seen configuration parameter now it's showing lcd service this lcd service we can check it lcd is working okay or not so i am restarting it because it is showing a problem it is showing communicator setting communicator setting we can adjust the contrast of lcd and then again it is showing info time to screen saver after 5 minute change configuration code contrast so these are the main parameters that we can change and we can configure this is the pv when we press this we can read the process variable then what is the running value this is reference re if i will press it will restart the green button re same like ref reference if i will press it it will reconnect with the transmitter so these were the main parameters now i will do the calibration and calibration zero adjustment because our lower range is zero so i will open it the equalizing wall and i will open into the atmosphere as the h side is open so zero millibar input of the pressure transmitter it's i press enter and it's now zero calibrated 
your adjustment is done I will check the PV the primary variable it is 0 millibar our zero calibration is successful so I will check the other process variable I will check the current Your current should be 4 milliamps yes current is 4 milliamps so zero adjustment is ok now this is the pressure pump fluke pressure pump you can see its model I will give the upper range value pressure to the transmitter and then I will calibrate it with the pressure so the span calibration I have connected this pump tube to the transmitter now I will give the pressure I will give it to the pressure in the calibration parameter I will go to the pressure calibration again I am checking its zero after checking the zero this is zero you can see zero adjustment I am doing again it's zero zero calibration is successful now I have given the pressure in the span I am entering the code for span it need code it is zero 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 eight times zero so I am giving it the code code is zero eight times after entering the code I will give it the pressure this is I am increasing its pressure to the span value then in the calibration I will adjust its span in the calibration pressure calibration after entering code I have given the pressure now I am entering in the pressure calibration ask for code for the safety that unauthorized person cannot perform it so set lower pressure or upper pressure because I want to adjust upper pressure press enter waiting for stable pressure to be stable pressure will be stable I will press enter and our span calibration is completed after entering this span button you know when the lower range value is not zero then we will adjust lower pressure also but here our low pressure value is zero now I am checking the PV I have just made some screenshots for you which is important but for zero adjustments it will give